What are the struggles you've seen or you're hearing customers tell you from the work from home? Yeah. And first of all, like how ready were they? Sure. From yeah. a technology standpoint, I'm sure that, you know, some of them probably had a lot of cloud-based technology. So sure. it was a lot easier. Yeah. Some maybe did not have that. Right, right. So what are things you ran into or you're running into? Now, it's a good question. You know, in, and what I'll say is in, in our space, in the enterprise space, most everyone had some level of work from home capability enabled for a small group of people. Now, now some, some were at scale, don't get me wrong. Most though were for a small segment. And remember, work from home is not a technology equation only, it's also an HR equation, right? And, and those two have to mix. So it, for us, it was, it was very wildly interesting and it, it was not uncommon for, for us to get a call from the company that would say, we have you know, 1,000 people that work from home today or 500, we need to do 20,000 people by the end of next well, I was week. Just gonna, I yeah. was just gonna say that for anybody <laughs> listening, let's, let's make sure we put this in perspective. We're not yeah. talking about 50 people. Right, it's, it's, it could be tens of thousands. And so um, you know, it's, it's, it's really us coming in with SWAT teams, right? With, with you know, enablement teams. And it, fortunately we're in the times we were, we, we are now because most of the folks have moved to our cloud technologies, which are, you know, extensible, they're, they're scalable. They have the data protection that you need to enable work from home because, you know, people are accessing sensitive company data in their living room now as they're working, right? And and so on. So um, so what we found is that- all the HIPAA stuff now. Oh, yeah, exactly. And that was a huge, the healthcare piece was a huge component. Um, we, If you watch any of the Microsoft Teams commercials that are on national TV now, it talks about major hospitals that, net, you know, were, were just starting doing virtual consults, but really had no scalability to doing all almost all their consults virtually for all of their patients. Nobody wanted to go into a hospital, first of all, that had COVID patients everywhere, yeah. you know? Um, and then secondly, they, they um, all the hospitals had policies just to make sure people coming in from the outside weren't infecting, you know, because they haven't all been tested, right? So so it's it was interesting to see at scale. And, and I think what we found is that companies were more ready than what they knew. And this was a, a very common theme where they would say, hey, we the reason we didn't have everyone working at working at scale at home before it was choice. We, we thought they needed a little more um, monitoring or we needed a little more oversight for certain sectors of those employees. Maybe they're not designed to work from home for lack of a better term. And what and what we found in most cases is they've said it's turned out to be much easier than what we thought. And it turns out folks, in, in, we have productivity stats that we'll put up about how much more productive folks were working from home. So once we got past of the, hey, how do we, how do we make this happen? The, the stats that are coming back, we have a, a group that does nothing but HR analytics using real-time telemetry from the usage of our tools. And then we share that back with customers. And it's amazing the insights that, that we've been able to gather. So it was, it was rocky. I don't want to make it sound easy. It wasn't, and it, it continues to be rocky. But what we found is that they were they were more capable than what we thought. 